Hey, how's it going guys? JC here and today we have a match against Yasuo. We're also running the new Lethal Tempo, so we're running that with Resolve on the off tree, so that's going to be giving us some armor and unflinching for that tenacity, which is completely useless against Yasuo. At least maybe maybe his tornado is knock-up. Although I think tenacity doesn't reduce knock-up like Malphite knock-up or like all sorts of knock-up. That's really just the animation going up and down. Anyways, we lose to Yasuo level 1 to 3 and we beat him level 4. The reason for that is because at level 4, Yasuo usually gets Wind Wall. And we get a W which will help us in combat, but you know, his Wind Wall won't do anything for him. So I went for Doran's Shield and just, you know, tank it out until level 4, then we just run him down the lane. But I do want some CS at the same time. Also going for Lethal Tempo, which might not be really good because he's going to juke around the minions and that's going to just waste our lethal tempo ent entirely so I think press the attack might be better in that sense so yeah we'll just play a little bit back oh I really want that CS okay we got it nice that was worth but yeah just play back because we're gonna get out traded really hard if we don't And the reason why we get out traded really hard is because his Q's on such a short cooldown and our E's on a very long cooldown. So he can keep spamming his Q and he can keep dashing while we can't do any of that. So he has a clear advantage in that sense. He also has a shield level 1. So that shield's also going to outdo us. Until we get some Fury, we can't really fight him. I mean, right now he's still slightly stronger. I just get rid of his shield, but I don't think that does much, to be very honest. I noticed that Lethal Tempo has a decently long cooldown. That's one thing to note as well. But except Yasuo can probably proc it a lot more than I can. Nice, got him. Okay, that's fine, that works too. I was gonna kill him solo level 4 though. Level 4, you, you have a slight advantage over him, and if you have full Fury, and I would have popped a potion there and just kill him straight up. So let's push this out. He might, yeah. Ah, oh, damn. He's teleporting. I need this to push in. So if Warwick comes and helps me push this in, that will be very, very much preferred. Ah, oh, he didn't get the Fury off. I should have flashed away, my bad. I think he can still get him. Yeah, very nice. But yeah, what Warwick should have done and what I should have pinged earlier is ping assist right away. Like the moment he dies and you know he has teleport and you want to push this into tower, you need to ping assist right away. Get that pushed in so he doesn't teleport on you and just freeze it. Because the last thing you want is for him to freeze it. So also he's stronger than me because he goes back, he buys items and I haven't bought any items. So obviously he'll be able to kill me even though we just got a kill on him, if that makes sense. But yeah, I don't know how I feel about Lethal Tempo. I feel like press the attack might just be better in this situation. I think against certain matchups where they want to stand there and fight you, and then you have Lethal Tempo, it might be really good in lane. But in terms of late game, I still don't know. Because late game, if I could get a Blade of the Rune King, and I could just slow them, then my Lethal Tempo will go into full effect, you know? I'll be able to get all those fast autos off without having to interrupt it. Okay. I might be able to fight him. Let's see. Alright, I'm gonna heal up. I got both potions. So I think I should be able to kill him after this. Or he'll have to go back. Yeah, I think he's gonna go back. Yeah, these potions are helping out a lot. I think attack speed gives him crit, if I'm not mistaken. Very nice. I still had my ult, so there was no chance of me dying. 
Like, I think I got level 6 off of that minion and not Yasuo. Also, he was still level 5. I was assuming that he would hit level 6 at that point, but he didn't because, I guess, due to the gank and just me not letting him freeze it. Because if he froze it, he'll actually get ahead of me, even though I got a gank. Okay, so with this cloth armor, I think he won't be able to kill me at all. I'll just be tanky and I'll also be very strong. Have a lot of life steal, a lot of attack speed, and yeah, that's it. I'm just going to walk at him and he's going to die unless he runs away. Otherwise, he can't fight me. I'm going to get some free gold here. By the way, for those who do not know, you get 4 CS off of this camp now instead of 10. But you still get your 170 gold, I believe. Let me see if this drops 70 gold. This big Krug, yep. 10 gold here. So yeah, should yeah, it is exactly the same as before in terms of gold value. Which is good. It just doesn't show that shiny like a lot of like really high CS number. But you'll still get a lot of gold considering how much CS you got. Like for 4 CS you get 170 gold. That's pretty insane. Like even 4 cannons or oh, 4 cannons would compete I guess. I wasn't able to get rid of his shield. Rip. But yeah, he's gonna be in a world of hurt soon. I should be able to start running him down. He's gonna proxy me? What? Nice, I didn't need to flash there, that's really good. I don't know about that proxy, that was very bad on him. He shouldn't be proxying. But I guess it does make sense, if he doesn't get punished for it, it's okay if he could run away. But there was a high chance he wouldn't run away since he killed all the minions, so he has no minions to dash through. If he TPs now, I can kill him. Because he has no clear advantage now. It's always the first purchase that is very important. But after that, mm, not so much. Okay, I guess he wants to keep me in lane. That's fine. Okay, we completely out-traded him. But then he went back in, so he thought he could juke away from me. Yeah, I think lethal tempo is good if I could just stand still in auto. But if I orb walk, I think I like don't get the full attack speed benefit out of this keystone. But yeah, it's pretty good in certain situations. Like, it's, I'd say, second place compared to press the attack. But I don't know, it's a bit early to say. So it could be either way. I just saw Garen over there. <laughs> Lol. Yeah, I saw Garen trying to do something sneaky. Jungle Garen, though. By the way, I faced a Nunu earlier and it was so disgusting. Arcane Comet Nunu. He throws his... What the heck, my thing is bleeding. Oh, actually, you can't see on camera. I just scratched something really itchy and then... Uh, I guess I opened a wound, but it's still really itchy. It doesn't even hurt at all. Just really itchy. I swear I'm not on drugs. I think drugs do that to you. Like, it, you get really itchy on your arm and then after that you scratch it and it starts bleeding and you still feel nothing. Like, it still feels really itchy. I don't know what's going on. Okay, we can get this towel for free. If not, then I can dive Yasuo. Looks like he's down there, so... Warn my team. But yeah, Yasuo is very easy for Trindomir because once you're safe enough level 4 onwards, you'll be able to beat him by yourself. The thing is, this time I got a gank, so... Uh, it doesn't matter too much because I have a lot of videos on my channel that shows you how to beat Yasuo without any ganks. And like... Very consistently beat Yasuo. Every single Yasuo. Because you just right click him to death. It doesn't really matter who the Yasuo player is. Oh, what the heck? Right click. Oh, Tibbers, please. 50 gold. Alright, not bad, not bad. The reason why I dive that Annie is because 
she seems pretty weak, and especially because she used her stun. That's the more important thing, is she wasted her stun on me, and it did barely any damage. So, used my judgement, and I was like, yeah, I can probably kill her. Alright, we're gonna get our shiv, so we're gonna be super strong now. Like, monstrous. I'll probably favor crit this time. I went for a crit glove instead of attack speed, because I have lethal... I have lethal tempo. Also, my team's doing well, so I don't feel pressure to go down there. It's really good. Really good feeling to have your team actually push a tower. If they push a tower, you need to be very grateful. It means your team's doing super well, and if you were to lose off of that, then completely on you. But yeah, it's very rare for me to see something like that, so I'm very happy that my team's winning. See, look at that. And look at that. It just feels so good. Yasuo should come and stop me. Okay, he's over there. And Garen's nearby as well. Let's see. Garen's one and one. Garen has no armor. So he's all AD. Might be able to abuse that. Uh, okay. He, w he got quite low from that jungle camp. So that leads me to believe that Garen's not a very good jungler. Like, he shouldn't be in the jungle. Because I know that those jungle monsters stop his passive from running. And his spin is very good if it's a 1v1. So if he's spinning and there's no other monsters nearby, it does extra bonus damage. Or something like that. So Garen will be really good against something like Grom. Okay, that barely did any damage. I can just repeat this process. But do you guys see how what I mean by this build? If you get tabbies, you just walk and right click them, it doesn't matter who the Yasuo player is, he can't outdo you because you simply right click him to death. Uh, he can try all he wants, he can juke all he wants, but as long as you hold on to your E and make sure you use it like appropriately, then you should be good to go. That's the only thing is, he can juke your E out, so make sure you use it appropriately and wait for him to start dashing away, that's when you use your W, is when you go on him first and then he starts dashing towards a minion, that's usually away from you, and that's when you can, okay, GG, that's when you can just use your W and just run him down, and make sure you kind of sidestep his Q so that he doesn't get those stacks to use his tornado again, but yeah, otherwise, GG well played, thank you so much for watching to the very end, and I'll see you all with the next keystone, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a Nunu video because that thing is just so broken, but I'll see, I'll see, anyways. Thank you for watching and I'll, I'll be back with another video tomorrow. Cheers.